I'm Luke Edmondson, and today David and I are both here on set shooting with Godox's latest power pack, the P2400. So we came out here today to this warehouse to be able to shoot with a hula hoop artist. So we can show you three of the key factors that make the P2400 so special. Number one, it's rugged. Number two, it's powerful. And number three, it's fast. And as a bonus, it's super consistent as well. So you know, when we found out that we were gonna be able to use the 2400, one of the exciting things to us was maybe we could use hula hoops, which you know when you spin them will go 90 miles an hour. So we just basically said, Let's go ahead and just hold that shutter down and see what we can get. The thing I'd want to tell you is I was blown away by the speed. As somebody who's used battery powered packs before, I've always struggled with a misfire here or there or situations where I wish my flash could keep up with me. Well, imagine if you could just put your camera on continuous motor drive and just let it fly. That's what we did and the P2400 was up to the challenge. You know, I've been in this business a long time and I'm used to large power packs, but I'm not used to large, rugged power packs like this that give you 2,400 watt seconds and also has speed, especially this freeze thing where you can just burst and go boom, 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 boom. It's just amazing because when you have subtleties in a shot, sometimes the difference between getting the shot and not getting the shot could be just a fraction of a second. The color mode makes it so easy to have beautifully consistent color, but the freeze mode gives you those fast recycle times, which is exactly what we needed to get the kind of shot that we were going for. In fact, one of the things that was really special was the fact that we could be at F16 at ISO 100 and still have room to spare in terms of how much power was available from the power pack. What's instantly obvious is the fact that the upgraded color screen on this power pack, its build quality, consistency to the output that you're going to get, the, the variations that you can choose in terms of the modes, whether that's the freeze or the color mode, uh, this is the next step up for Godox. For commercial photographers and studio photographers like us, it's more affordable and more accessible because of that. We love the fact that it's something that we can take on location if we need to, or use back home in the studio. Godox is making photography lighting accessible for all. One of the beautiful things about the P2400 was that we combined it with the new ring flash that's coming out from Godox called the R2400, along with the parabolic reflectors, allowing us to light large areas when I heard that Godox was going to make an adapter on their ring flash that you could put inside your parabolics, I was so excited because that large light source creates such a beautiful, beautiful light on the subject. A lot of people claim to have parabolics, but this parabolic is a true parabolic with an actual U shape. And so when you bring the light in closer, it creates a very narrow beam and a little bit more contrast. And then you bring it back out to the outside of the parabolic and it creates this beautiful, beautiful soft light. Because it has the steps that you can use to be able to gauge exactly how much you move it in and out, you can get to know exactly how diffused and soft you want your lighting to be or how much more strong and contrasty you want the direction of light that's coming out from it. I know for us, one of the beautiful things was being able to use the 158 reflector to be able to create a softer, diffused light striking her subject, while using the 88 behind her to be able to have a little bit more stronger sense of separation light illuminating our subject. And then we also had a light from above that was going to create almost kind of a theater circus type of uh, beam. And of course we put uh, fog on that so it'd give just that little shaft of light and give it just a little bit more of an aura of mystery and uh, then we had one light, a fourth light, that we shot up onto the fabric just to give it a little bit of three-dimensional dancing on the way that the fabric folds. Thanks for taking time to check out our video on the P2400. It means so much to me that you took the time to watch this video as we tested out the P2400. 
We hope that it not only inspired you, but perhaps gave you something to aspire towards. We can't wait to see what you create using Godox Lighting.